pets don't look like each other that much, but they do. Because let me tell you, in the story, in the, um, in the, um, book, Rebecca goes to the fair or whatever, the carnival, um, you can read the book, but something, something, st stuff goes down there, let's just say that. Um, and she wears an outfit. <laughs> and this is the historical outfit that she wears there. This is the Be Forever outfit that she wears there. Or maybe she just goes one time, wears that, go goes one time, wears that, I don't know. But either way, these are both her, like, carnival or fair outfits, like her going out outfits. Um, and I actually think both of them look really cute. The only thing that I have a problem with is, you you'll see, I'll tell you. So this is, um, this is, so like I said, when that one wears purple, this one wears blue. It's always blue or purple, but it's the opposite always, for some reason. Um... <laughs> So I like the shoes. I mean, I don't like the shoes. The shoes I don't really like that much. But I think the um, the outfit um, is really cute. I think the hat is really cute. Um, except I don't really know why this piece is hanging down. That's kind of weird. Um, I, I get what it's supposed to be doing, but it's kind of just like too stiff and awkward. Um, I really like the button, little things. I like this little sash. Um, just the standard white t white tights. But then these shoes are kind of like the historical ones, except I think they look, if I, they like, look kind of awkward, um, I think if I had never seen the historical boots, then I wouldn't have thought they looked awkward, but they look awkward, um, and then this one is purple, like I said, it's a little messy, um, so it has a hat also, I think, also, I think this hat looks a little more realistic, uh, I don't know, also it has like a dent, I'll fix that later, there's like a little dent, um, so it's purple. This one doesn't have tights, it just has shoes. Um, but I, honestly, I think this dress looks like goals. Um, but I mean, that, that, that dress also looks really cute. Um, but I mean, overall, I like the purple better, I believe. Honestly, I don't know. But I usually lean t t towards the historical, but honestly, both these are pretty cute. So now we're going on to the next one, which is also blue and purple. Now we have the holiday slash Hanukkah outfits. Can you back up? So basically, this is B Forever, as you can tell, because she's on this side. And then this is historical. So again, purple, blue, um, which I think is funny, because like I like because like all of Rebecca's. Um, Okay. Like, all of Rebecca's outfits, I remember, used to be, like, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. Um, so, let's do the B for... So, these are basically... I think this one's actually called her Hanukkah dress, and this one might be called her holiday dress. But either way, she celebrates Hanukkah, and, yeah, she, this is what she wore on Hanukkah in the books. Um, oh, we also have a little menorah over there. Oh, I'll tell you a little story about that menorah. So, I got that. At like Rebecca's menorah, but then they changed it to the Truly Mean menorah. They might have retired it, and then now Rebecca has a new menorah. I have no idea what's going on with the menorah scandal, but it's weird. Um, so she has a head oh, oh. So she's a little headband with little flowers on it. And she has this dress. I honestly think the dress, this dress is really pretty. Um, like, because guys, it is really pretty. This ruins it. I I thought this was gold. And I saw a video and they said no. It's green. But I was like wait. Whatever. I still want the dress anyway. But it bothers me. Because it's green. Like who who designed this? Like it's like this part's gold. I wish the whole part was gold like this. Because I just don't get it. Um, but the shoes are nice. Um, white tights. Um, these cute little shoes. So I do think this dress is cute, except for the green thing. That's kind of weird. I don't really understand it. Also, it kind of looks like a Christmas wreath, and she's celebrating Hanukkah. So I don't know. Maybe they have wreaths for Hanukkah, too. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Um, but um, I don't know what's going on. It, it, it probably is just supposed to be like a holiday adornment. Um, but this one also has a headband, which I find weird. Because th that one also had the headband. And usually they just have a little side bow or clip. But the these two have full headbands. And this one's actually a ribbon. A l super long ribbon that you're supposed to tie up into a bow. Um, and this is purple. And it has off... This is off-white. And then it has off-white tights and off-white shoes. So, also another thing. 
that's weird is that um some of the historical outfits have this like drop you can't see it they have this drop waist like even her old meat outfit has it well this one's not that dropped but usually it's like below um below the hips or like drop like it, it goes down um but none of the um be forever outfits have that so that's interesting um, so now we're going to move on to the outfits that don't have, like, Be Forever and, so most of these are just historical and they don't have a Be Forever equivalent, or they're still out, so there was no equivalent that needed to be made. We have Rebecca's basically movie star outfit, and this one's still out, but it was originally historical, so I'm just going to say it's historical, even though they still sell it, because obviously anything that's pink and frilly, American Girl's going to sell, obviously. <laughs> um, so the hat. Um, in the book, this actually plays a really special role because her, her, um, her uncle gave her, like, a special rose and she put it on the hat. And sh this is the dress that she wore when she went to, um, go see him when he was being a movie star. But then, this is the dress that she actually wears in the movie that she's in. And, um, mine is kind of messed up. I honestly want to get another one because there is a necklace and I'm missing it. Wait a second. I just realized something. Oh, no, never mind. I thought those were the same flowers as the headband, but these are bigger. Roses. So, it has these little roses. It has this pink and this yellow. I honestly really like the dress. And one thing that I like, I don't know, it's just like a stylistic, like, it's probably because it's in the movie, but it has, like, this little, like, slip underneath, and then the skirt, like, flows over it. So, I thought that was really interesting and really pretty. And it, mine does have some tears, and I need to iron it. Um... But I honestly want to get, like, a new one of these because I'm missing the necklace and um, the skirt's kind of ready. But here are the shoes. They're little off-white shoes. I think they're really cute. So now let's move on to the next outfit. I have this um, little frilly lace pink dress. And this one also has a dropped waist, which none of the new Rebecca outfits have for something, like, for some reason, like I said earlier. But... I honestly think this dress is adorable. And I'm really surprised that American Girl didn't keep it. But probably the reason that they had to retire it is because it looked too similar to Samantha's dresses. But it's so cute. And it comes with a little ribbon for the side of the hair. And then it has these little matching shoes. I think it's adorable. I think this is like a dress that either she wears when she goes back to the fair. So I could have done it with like when I showed the fair dresses. Or she wears it on a weekend. I don't know, but it's really cute. Like to the next one. one. Um, but here is um, Rebecca's dress up set. And it came with her dress up chest, but I think for a while they were selling it separately than the chest, so that's why I'm doing it separately. But so here's the main piece, which is the dress. And I could say that the Be Forever equivalent is the butterfly costume, but this was this is this was out and I think it's still out. And so it was out at the same time as the butterfly costume. But at one time, they did um, refer to this, like, I think they alluded that this was the costume that she used when she when she was the butterfly queen because of these, like, if you, okay, this is really interesting. So this is the main piece, and it has these layering pieces. So this piece was supposed to be, this is like what they had back in the day as their pretend fairy wings, I believe. So I believe originally this was supposed to be her butterfly costume. And, um, honestly, the butterfly costume is the one Rebecca outfit that I have that I wanted so bad. I have the accessories for it. I have the, like, the makeup thing that was supposed to go with it. But I didn't get it. I want it so bad. But, like, one time I looked on eBay and it was, like, $100. And I was like, what? But I want, I want it so bad. But this is, like, so originally I think this was supposed to be like that. Because these are supposed to be wings. And you hook, you would hook them onto the back of the dress, which is really inventive. So I think that is honestly really cool. And then this is another layering piece. So you wouldn't wear this by yourself. You would put this uh, this slip on over the dress. And it almost kind of looks like a flapper costume is what I thought. But she's she's right before the 1920s. So maybe like this is this was supposed to be like her dressing up as a movie star. So this was probably like the pre like what started the flapper craze. Those movie stars wearing dresses like this. But then anyway it has this little matching headpiece. And it actually it actually doesn't go like this. It goes like around the head. Here I'll show you. Just take you. I know she's wearing another headband but this is what it's supposed to look like. Um and then it has these little ballet slippers, which are obviously dress up. She didn't actually do ballet. 
but they're really cute. So then I'll show you what you would wear them with. So, um, oops, I forgot the gloves. this outfit combination so you could also put I think this also might have come with the came with a pearl necklace I feel like it I don't know I don't remember but I, I have like I have Mary I don't know if I st would still have it if it came with a pearl necklace but um I have Mary Ellen's pearl necklace so I don't really care um so this would have gone over this gone like around and so this bow is like kind of messed up this is really old so it would have gone like this, and then we would have had, ooh, sorry, um, we would have had the doll wearing these off-white gloves, and maybe the shoes, and the really cute detail about these gloves is they have almost like this little Mickey Mouse thing where it's like that, and no, it's not supposed to look like Mickey Mouse, it's supposed to look like the fingers are separated, I think, or that's just supposed to be detailing, but it's really cute. So that's Mary Ellen's dress-up chest, ooh, and also... I mean, Rebecca's, and then here is the actual chest, which actually has this little old-fashioned picture. Oh, and there's one thing out more I'm going to show you. I don't have any more outfits, but this is what I have in Rebecca's room. So this is a poster that came with her movie star set. These things actually came with the chest. Um, here's that makeup set I was talking to you about. This is supposed to be her stage makeup. It has like a little, like, um, like, what's it called? Program in there. Then this is her records thing. And here's the actual record player. It actually works. And then here's a little magazine cover that came with the chest. Another magazine cover. Her chair. Her director's chair. Her, um, microphone. Her little action-y thing. Um, this is a full one of the, those magazines that came with her, um, directing set. Um, sorry, my little sister's like playing with the clothing now. This thing is not anything from hers, but then I actually have her cats. And in the story, her neighbor had this mean cat, but then the mean cat had nice kittens, apparently. Um, I don't know, I forget what their names are in the book, but I call this one Splat, because she just looks like she's like Splat. And then I call this one, um, Marie Kitten, because she looks very proper. Um... <laughs> So that's the story behind those little cats. And yeah, this is my full collection um, of Rebecca's stuff. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And tell me what you think. Um, bye!